So by adding two notes to the minor pentatonic scale to create the Dorian mode, we're getting these really two essential notes that are chord tones in all the chords. So check this out, starting on the top. Now going to the five chord. Everybody, Gary here with Guitar Tricks and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the Dorian mode over a typical blues. So I know a lot of people, myself included, have gone through feeling really stuck by just playing the minor pentatonic scale over the blues and it's at that point that you start to think about, all right, well how do I play off the chord or how do I add some other notes that really make things sound like I'm playing the blues progression and I'm not just noodling on top of it, right? Well what we could do is just take that pentatonic scale that you know and just add two notes to it to make what's called the Dorian mode. So if this is our classic minor pentatonic in A, and this is Dorian mode, okay, so I added these two here and these two here, right? So they're just this, we're taking this stack and we're doubling it and putting it right behind and we're taking this stack and doubling it and putting it right behind, okay? Now, what are these notes and how do we use them? Before we get into the lesson, please go ahead and click subscribe so that you get all of the latest and greatest content from Guitar Tricks. And if you wanna be notified of any new lesson, be sure to also tap the bell. And please let us know in the comments any videos that you'd like to see us make for the channel. That's always where we're looking to get ideas. All right, let's get into it. Well, relative to A, this is, in the context of a chord, it's the ninth. So it's a jazzy note over the one chord. Right, very jazzy. As a scale degree, it's number two. One, two, flat three, two. This note right here is a major sixth of the key. So pentatonic, we usually just have one flat three, four, five, flat seven. But now we have one, two, flat three, four, five, six, flat seven, one. One, two, flat three, four, five, six, flat seven, one, two, flat three. So that's what those notes are relative to the key. Like I said, this one relative to the chord of A7 is a ninth. So great jazzy thing. Stevie Ray Vaughan used to play that note all the time over the one chord. Over the four chord, this note right here is the major third. That's one of the best things you could do to get out of the minor pentatonic is on any one of the three chords, hit the major third of that chord. So this note over the four chord D is your major third. This note is gonna be your 13th. Sound really jazzy, right? But both will work. So, so, so some of them are just gonna really make the chord stand out. Others are gonna sound jazzy depending on what chord you play it on. Then on the five chord, this note is the ninth, but this note is the fifth over the E. So over this one chord, you know, that ninth is gonna sound really good, but watch what happens. I'm gonna do this quick change to the four and then I'm gonna hit this note. So watch this. You see how good that sounded, right? And then I went. I did a. Really just nailing that note. Okay, then when we get to the five chord, I'm just gonna do a loop here, one, four, five. So the one chord. To the four. Back home. 
cool, right? That's all there is to it, and that's just in this position. Uh, so you could willy-nilly just play them whenever, but try to think of what chord you're on and what that note as a function is relative to that chord, right? So, like I said, just to recap, this note is going to be the ninth of your one chord. It's going to sound really jazzy, but it's going to be the fifth of your five chord. So it's going to sound really functional as part of that chord. Then this note is the major third of this chord, the four chord. So again, really functional note. Over the one chord, that's the major six. Very sweet note, you know? So whether you're playing one of those notes as a chord tone or as a color tone, it's gonna work. So you could feel free to just play Dorian mode over the blues for whatever the key is. If it's an A blues, play A Dorian mode. G blues, play G Dorian mode. All right, so I'm just gonna give you a couple licks using this Dorian mode. So here's one over the one chord. We're gonna go like this, classic blues start. So we're bending this seventh fret of the G string. Then we're barring five, five on the B and the E. Then pinky comes back to eight on the B string. Then we hammer on five to seven on the E string. Now we work our way back down. And we go five on the E, eight, on the B, five on the B, then we do a kind of a half step bend or a quarter bend on the fifth fret of the G, then land on the root note, which is the seventh fret of the D. So, classic. Okay, now here's a lick for landing on the four chord. So here we're going, so we're going up this kind of A minor seven arpeggio and then sliding into that major third of the four chord and then coming down the scale, starting with the uh, third finger on the seventh fret of the G, coming down seven, five, seven, five, four. So we're hitting that note twice. Right, so that's going to be going from Right, so here we are on the one now Four That was a little different One And now Now you could use a theme, like here's a theme when we go five to four to one, I can do something like Right, I did the same lick, but my target tone the first time was that, the second time was that, so I went So when I get to that five chord, I could do something like, I'm going seven on the G, five, five on the B and the E, then eight on the E, then sliding into seven. So that's, then kind of come down the pentatonic scale. Then for the four chord, Start the same way, but now come pinky on the B string, 8th fret, and then come into that 7th fret on the B string. So, and 
then down the pentatonic scale. And then, right, for the one chord. So you want to really get to know the blues progression so well that you always know what chord is coming, when it's coming, and what chord you're currently on. Without that, you can't really play the blues in a legitimate way if you're just unaware of where you are in the chord progression. So get to know the chord progression first and foremost, and then target, not necessarily target in an intellectual way, but you begin to know the sound that you're looking for and the sound that's approaching. So you're preempting what's coming with your phrasing. That's ultimately where you always want to be. And when you really know a song really, really well in and out, that's very apparent in your improvisation. So have fun with this stuff. I hope that was helpful. If you want to learn more about playing guitar, head over to guitartricks.com where you could take many different courses, a fundamentals course, different genre-specific courses, country, blues, and rock, access a library of high-quality song lessons with downloadable tabs, all sorts of cool stuff. Happy playing, and I'll see you in the next lesson.